Hi everyone, I am Dimuthu Dilanarol, software engineer from WSO2 Identity Cloud team. And in today's demonstration, I am going to show you how to configure SAML based single sign on with WSO2 Identity Cloud. Following is an outline of steps we are going to demonstrate today. So, in order to configure single sign on with WSO2 Identity Cloud, I'm going to use Google Apps. Firstly, you need to have an admin account with Google Apps. To create a new admin account, please log in to admin.google.com. For this demonstration, I have already created an admin account called dimutud admin at wso2support.com. Secondly, you need to create the same user in the identity cloud. The next step would be downloading the IDP metadata file from the Identity Cloud. Next, you need to configure single sign-on settings in the Google Apps Administrator account. Create an application called Gmail in the Identity Cloud admin portal by the user dimutudadmin at wso2support.com. The last step would be demonstrating single sign-on access for the Gmail application created using the user resides inside LDAP plugin. For this demonstration, I'm using the user called dim2d at wso2support.com. Now let's try to log in to the Google admin account. Once you are successfully logged in, go to security. Select Setup Single Sign On. Under Setup Single Sign On, make sure you have ticked Setup SSO with Third Party Identity Provider. Now, you need to provide values for Sign In Page URL, Sign Out Page URL, Optionally, change password URL and also you need to upload X509 certificate for the verification purposes. In order to provide these values, you need to log into the admin portal of the WSO2 Identity Cloud. You need to log in using the same admin account. Once logged in, you can download the IDP metadata file. Let's open the file. In here, you need to copy the location URL. And you need to give that value as the sign in page URL. Give the same value for sign out page URL as well. Now, you need to upload X509 certificate. In the IDP metadata file, you have the data for X509 certificate. You need to configure this in the standard X509 certificate format. Following is the standard X509 certificate format. Now let's try to upload the certificate. Once you have successfully uploaded the certificate, you need to save your settings. You can obtain these values by referring 
support Google documentation. Go to set up single sign-on for G Suite accounts using third-party identity provider. The next step would be creating an application in the identity cloud. To do so, let's log in to the admin portal of the identity cloud using the admin user and create an application called Gmail. Select custom application. Draw your attention on the security protocol. You need to select SAML2 WebSSO. Provide the value for the issuer. And the assertion consumer URL. Make sure to tick Enable Response Signing. Also, you need to configure user claim and add local claim. So let's add the local claim as the email address. Select the subject claim also as the email address. Provide the value for the access URL. Since I am directly configuring for the Gmail, I am using the access URL as mail.google.com slash a slash wso2 support.com. You can also upload a thumbnail image for the app icon. So let's add Gmail image. Save your configurations. You can connect an on-premise user store to the WSO2 Identity Cloud. For more details on configuring an on-premise user store, Please log in to the official documentation of the WSO2 Identity Cloud. For this demonstration, I have already plugged in an on-premise user store to the Identity Cloud and the user dimutud belongs to the same Gmail domain where the admin user belongs to. So both dimutud admin and dimutud users are belong to the same Gmail domain of wso2support.com. Dimutudi at wso2support.com user who resides in the user store should be able to view the Gmail app created by the admin user because of Dimutudi belongs to the same Gmail domain. So now let's try to log into the user portal using Dimutudi at wso2.com. In other words, the user who resides inside the user store. Go to the admin portal. Click on go to user portal. Provide the credentials for the user who resides in the user store. You can see the Gmail app created by the admin user is visible for the user who resides on the user store. So click on the Gmail application. If you have successfully configured single sign-on for Google Gmail, you should be able to log in to the Gmail account of dimutudi at wso2support.com without providing credentials.
Thank you for watching. If you have further queries, please forward them to the cloud email. Thanks.